Hello and welcome to Belmore, where the Canary Bankstown Bulldogs are taking on the Brisbane Broncos. And what is a David versus Goliath clash? I'm your commissioner, Will Pay. Looking forward to this one greatly as the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs look to reclaim their spot at the top of the ladder. And the Brisbane Broncos fighting for finals. A lot on the line here. One fighting for the minor premiership. One fighting for the top eight. And every single player on this field fighting every moment of every minute. This is going to be an absolute cracker here at Belmore. And before we kick off, let's turn some attention to some of the team lists that we've got this week. The Canary Bankstown Bulldogs in particular. Uh, there's been some key changes in the lineup. Tavita, Vulva, ah, Tavita Vuvali and Gawa, sorry, at the wing. Uh, he's moved in place of John Boy Columbus. Uh, John Boy Mayava, sorry. Oof. Uh, Kobe Johnson at 8, Samuel Lillard at 10. Thomas Wallace is now playing hooker instead of lock, and Daniel Helly has gone to lock at 13. Cameron Hodgson's moved to the left side and made way for John by Mayava in the right second row. And it's Casey Namina finding himself on the bench um, to make way for well, most of those changes. It's going to be an interesting one indeed and see how this new look uh, Bulldog side really goes in this match. As we look at the Brisbane Broncos. Uh, not many changes this week. Jackson Allison's moved to 8 uh, to make way for Simon Hunt at 13. He's moved out of the second row. Justice Daly has taken his place. Uh, and Kyriakis Ilias is playing 10 this week. Aiden Lawrence is back to the bench. So a, a couple changes from both sides, but Bulldogs, lots and lots of changes. Corey Goats there with the first kick return of the game. The Broncos not getting too many metres in their first set. As they go left now, Samuel Lillard straightens up. Well, let's go and left. His service from dummy half is good. Kobe Johnston. He cuts through the line. Can't get too far, though. And if we look at uh, the form of these teams, they've been playing all right. Bulldogs last week beating Manly 34 to 18. The week before that, they lost to the Titans. And there's an early error from the Bulldogs, and that's not going to help out their case at all. Not desperate for a win by any means, but certainly could do with one. That'll be Jackson Ellison brought down on 30. Broncos pushing forward. And the Broncos, they are desperate for a win. They've only won two of their last five games. If you take that down to four, they've only won one of their last four games. And that was last week against the Eels. So it's not exactly a big feat. Before that, they lost to the Raiders, Knights and Storm. The, the Broncos will be looking for a victory here. It's, it's a desperate situation they are in. It'll really be tough as none of, those none of these teams have actually played each other before. Interesting to see how this go down will go. Vuvali and Gawa with the kick return there didn't get very far. I think this is his first start in his career. Actually coming off the bench to play centre. But not tonight for Vuvali and Gawa. Here we go, Moana, out of Hodgson. Moana had a great game last week after a, uh, well, you know, some pretty bad performances. Looks like he may be back. Waiting to see this week. First kick of the game, Damien Moana, that's a decent one there. Strikes it well, not going for the 40-20, but just, you know, a yardage kick. As Joey Kelly on the kick return now. Kelly's got in front of Tatero Maxwell. Kelly's racing away. He's going to lose Helio and he's going to race past... Under the sticks for Joey Kelly, and that is some Brisbane brilliance. What was that from Joey Kelly? That is spectacular. He just made something from nothing. It was a great kick from Moana, but the kick chase just wasn't there. Kelly exploiting that and going coast to coast here at Belmore. Joey Kelly, during the week, it was announced he will not be continuing his role as Brisbane Broncos captains in Season 8. He will be taken over by Anthony McDonald. That's my understanding that he's been offered a position in the leadership regardless. Uh, we look forward to seeing what 
Anthony McD McDonald can do with a side like the Broncos. They've got good, some good foundations where they are at the moment. Uh, Joey Kelly stays on and plays fullback. You know, happy days, that's brilliant. That'd be a great start to Anthony McDonald's captaining career as Levi Raymond goes to Allison. The Broncos six up. I don't think many people had them scoring first, but don't get comfortable yet, Brisbane. There you go, Simon Hunt. He's going to fend off one, and it's been a while since we've seen Simon Hunt at lock, and easy he can play. Isaac Edwards. Goes for the dummy at the back, but he can't, uh, can't get past that line. By Raymond. Goes to Cyrus Marks. Blob it in that tackle. John Boy Maiava over the top. Helped out by Samuel Lillard. They go left. Deep to Raymond. Raymond, I thought he kicked it in his own play, but no, he didn't. As he's going to kick it, Moana will field it on the 30 after the bounce. He kicks from both halves so far. Henry Hodgson on the left side. Doing so well on the right at the start of the season before that mid-season break, and it just seems team's got a bit more prepared to him. Uh, prepared for him, sorry. Near the end um, of coming up on the end of the season. Now a bit more what to expect as Kobe Johnson plays the ball. They go to Daniel Hellier. Now Hellier, we've said time and time again his defense is questionable at times. I wonder how he'll go and lock. But it has improved vastly this season, and maybe that's why he's improved so much, because so he can play lock. Dylan Sharp brought down by Tatira Maxwell. After stepping the line though, I think it was Charlie Butler getting stepped. And now it's Felix Stoda straight to the line. Here goes the rookie. He's gone straight through. TTM was out of position. He's not going to be able to catch him very quickly. And he'll be brought down by Johnny Columbus. Uh, 12 minutes out from the try line. That's a great run from the rookie second row. They go to Kyriakis Ilias now. He'll take a settler. Just slow things down for the Broncos. As where will they go? Crutcher goes left. He's going to get his quick pass out to Allison. That's some great hands from Levi Raymond. But he can't quite get to the line. Ash Crutcher goes right. It's going to go to Isaac Edwards. Driven back there. As five metres now. Where will they go for this one? They go to the left. It's going to go to Raymond. Puts a high kick up straight into the back of Simon Hunt. And that is a wasted opportunity from the Broncos. If you're Joey Kelly, you'd be pretty disappointed in that last tackle option. They could have themselves in the, well, further in the lead and made it a bit harder for the, Bronco, for the Bulldogs to catch. But instead, just getting in the way there. Giving away a needless penalty. But I think the Bulldogs will take advantage of. As now, Thomas Wallace straight through the line. Great run from the hooker there. That's only the third, though. They go left. Hell yeah. Gives it away to Hodgson. Twenty-five away from the line. Now Moana links up with Butler. Play the ball 15. Away from the try line. Moana puts a high kick up. Who's underneath it? It looks like Justin Place is ready for Oh, and he's folded by Johnston. But he gets up quickly and plays the ball. Kyriakis Ilias. Breaking through Daniel Hellier there. Now Crutcher goes to Stoda. Another good run from the rookie second row. And he's been a great pickup for them this season. Crutcher goes quickly right to Allison. He's going to break a tackle. And John Boy Maiava will have to get involved at the 40. That's the fourth tackle now. Do they go for an early kick or do they try and play it out here? No, they're going to... Oh my goodness. Raymond kicks it into another player. And they give a penalty away on their own uh, 30 meter line. That's a shocker from the Broncos. And he had a great first couple of kicks, Raymond, but now he just can't seem to find anyone but the back of anywhere but the back of his own players. Bulldogs are getting an opportunity to score here. It's going to be Wallace from dummy half, but no, he'll be brought down. They're ready for him, and Stoda drives him back in that one. As Charlie Butler goes left, Billard goes to Johnston. Johnston flipped on his back. Broncos defense tested out here as they go right. Gonna go to Charlie Butler. They need to tackle him here. Someone needs to get around the legs. And no, they you know he won't be. I think he's gotten the ball down here, Charlie Butler. And
And yes, he has. And the Bulldogs will tie up the game, you'd think. He'd almost be guaranteed to get this kick. And the green lights here at Belmore Sports Ground. Ball is six kick to come. 15 minutes in and all off the back of that Levi Raymond error. That is a shocker. There's now. There's lots of that one over Charlie Butler. Six all is the score here at Belmore Sports Ground. Big Steve. Johnston pushes the board. Yeah, right, Daniel Hellier. Fends off one. Hellier straight to the line. Great stuff there. Go. Right now. Charlie Butler. Inside ball. TTN. Wallace goes left. Goes to Lillard. Straight to the line. Samuel Lillard. Where's he going to go here? The Bulldogs. They are racing down the field here. And they get all the way, just past the 20 now. They go right, Charlie Butler, Maxwell. Barnes steps Stoder, Raymond helps in that tackle. Well, at least he can tackle. ETM now plays the ball, 15 out. They go right, it's going to be Charlie Butler, puts it along the ground. Who's going to collect it? It's going to be Cyrus Marks. He steps one. But John by Maiava brings him down. That is an excellent save by uh, Cyrus Marks. And now it's Simon Hunt straight through the line. see some performances at lock from Simon Hunt and I think he can really be a valuable asset there they go left now it's Jackson Ellison goes to Dylan Sharp steps one can't get away from Columbus though Corey Goats marking up on well anyone on that left edge of the Broncos had a bit of a tough time so far it's fifth and last now says the referee Hunt plays the ball Crutcher goes right Raymond Crossfielder kick down all the way to Tavita Fulvali and Gawa as he steps one, but he can't get very far. Good play the ball. They go right now. Moana goes to Cameron Hodgson straight through a gap. He's going to go for a run now, but he'll be brought down. Simon Hunt chasing. He'll play it. They go right again. Moana gives it away to Maxwell. Gives it to Butler. Butler doesn't do anything with it. He had numbers on the outside, but chose to just run it instead. Now Wallace goes left to Mayaba. Bench forwards have come on for the Bulldogs and Filippo Gould and Casey Namina. There's the big man. Going to go to Columbus who steps one. Felix Stoder brings him down. Done a whole lot of tackling so far, Stoder. As it's going to be Thomas Wallace. He's going to go from dummy half on the fifth and last. Offloaded to Namina who can't get the ball away. And that will be a hand over there. Hunt plays it. Goes right to Raymond. Now to Lawrence. Crutcher goes left, Stoder. Two hands away. Tackled there, can't do much. Now left again, Raymond spits it out to Sharp. Sharp down the sideline. Right, Ultimately will be tackled. Go to Stoder, now Barris. Sharp, fifth and last now. The Broncos just struggling to crack into this Bulldogs area. The Bulldogs defense has been very solid indeed. Gary Maxwell, he's going to step one now, but he's brought down by Aiden Lawrence. 20 is where he will play it. No, sorry, just embarrassing. Rather, down. He's held there. Held two. Now to Corey Goats. Three, 
Now Columbus straight to the line. And he's going to go to Butler. Back on the inside. Now they go to Hellier. Spreads it to Columbus. Now Goats goes left to Wallace. Puts a cross field kick all the way down to Plays. As Plays steps one. Justin Plays. And he'll be held down too long in the tackle then. Favali and Gar was given away a woeful penalty. Edwards. Big for touch here. Six all still. 25 minutes into the game. But maybe the Broncos can make something out of this penalty. Now they go to Hunt. Edwards pushed back. Now going left, Felix Stoda. He's held there. Three. Hands away. Go right, Raymond. Now goes to Daly. Up in now. Ball. Number 10. Left again, Raymond. Going right. Inside ball to Joey Kelly, who really hasn't got involved much in this one. Only gained about 25 metres in that set off the 50 after the penalty. Now it's going to be Simon Hunt. He couldn't put a kick in. He's going to push for the line, though. Simon Hunt, and he'll almost get there on his back. That was a great fifth tackle option from the lock. As the Bulldogs will be forced out of their own end. Or forced to fight out of their own end. They go left. Daniel Hellier. He fends off one. They go to Hodgson. All right, Maxwell. Hell, that's tackle four, hands off. Awana goes to Hell yeah. Bavali and Gawa. Tackled. That's Mawana, puts a kick down to plays. Plays will be tackled and... All right, Edwards. He's held there. Goes He's to held Justice three. Daly. Goes to Edwards. Get away. Oh, big hit. John by Marlis come away with it. Kelly drops off, and my other will race away. No, Cyrus Marx has chased him down. And that is a try saver from Cyrus Marx. That is incredible from the rookie center. Great work. That was almost destined to score a try there, John by my arbor. He's held there. Two hands away. And he was ready to celebrate. But no, Cyrus Marks. That is a spectacular try saver. As Broncos. It's fighting out of their own end here. They get a second chance, a lifeline. Now Stoda. He's gonna. Break a tackle, get an offload, but Marx is driven back. My is filthy that he got his try spoiled. And now they go. Raymond. Kick down to Goats. Right, he's tackle one. He's held there. Don't get very far. They go to Hell yet. Now to Namina. Wallace goes to Hodgson. Three. Up there, that's the Back third. At 40 now, the Bulldogs. We go inside ball to Tiara Maxwell. Four. Ash Crutcher tackles. Let him go. Back from Moana, now to Vivali and Gawa. Steps one, Vivali and Gawa gets an offload. Kamene now. The two rookies linking up there. Moana. Good high. Joey Kelly comes down with it, but can't get away from Filippo Gould. Go right. Edwards goes to Hunt. He's held there. That's his second. 
Oh, Namina on a big shot and Aiden Lawrence who struggles to get up. Daniel Hellier finishes him off. Tackle efficiency stats up. The man that's already on the ground is Simon Hunt now. Will be brought down. Cyrus Marks. Bit of Vivali and Gawa. Steps one. Joey Kelly's lost to Vivali and Gawa is going to race away. How about that for Tavita, Vivali and Gawa? A spectacular try from the rookie winger in his first start of the season. That is incredible. Charlie Butler will tee this one up and that is great stuff. 12 to 6 is the score. Creeping up at the 35 minute mark, about 5 minutes left in this first half and the Broncos. Looking to make sure they don't let this game go by letting either any more points in or maybe try and get one Tie it up before half time. As Wallace goes to Filippo Gould. Hell. Clear in. That's one. Move. That's your second. Now we're not with the hit up there. Goes to Gould. Gould now. Goes to Moana. Fourth down. Yeah, Hodgson. Okay, Wallace now goes to Moana. Oh, and Charlie Butler takes it out of nowhere. And the very thing that I just said the Broncos didn't want to do, <laughs> let more points in, happens. And that is a double for Charlie Butler out of absolutely nowhere. There was just no one under that kick there from the bull, from the Broncos and Charlie Butler just got to Joey Kelly was left at the dead ball line. Wow, it's Charlie Butler will convert this one. Like his point of total, total points 14 for the night. Great stuff from him, 18 to 6. Mary Bankstown Bulldogs leading the Brisbane Broncos. They want one more before half time to try and put this game to bed before, before the break. Now the Broncos, though, in this game for so long, and you know, I mean, they're still technically in it, but I just don't see anyone coming off the bench and making that big of an impact for them. Go to Moana. He's held there. He brought down the 30 there. Two hands away. All right, hell yeah. Now the button. Hell, three back with me. He's Daniel held Lillard. there. That's tackle four. Hands off. Hell, five holding the ten. Hodgson plays the ball, going right, no one. Kick all the way down there to Dylan Sharp, who on the kick return, he weaves one, steps the fullback, but Charlie Butler tackles him. 30 seconds left now as Allison and Kyriakos Ilias come back on. Now Simon Hunt fending through the line. It's Daniel Hellier missing another one. He is brought down. That's only the second there. They go left now, it's Kyriakos Ilias. And that will be the final play. Bulldogs 18, the Broncos 6. We'll see you very shortly. 
Welcome back to SRL TV. Well, the Canary Bankstown Bulldogs currently leading the Brisbane Broncos 18 points to 6. In that first half, Simon Hunt racking up for 160 run metres alone for his team. That is ridiculous. Bulldogs peeling away in that last 10 or so minutes with two quick tries. Put them firmly in the lead. The Broncos need to bounce back early in this half if they want to stay in the game. Oh, and Jackson Allison lays out John Boymayawa. That's exactly the energy they need to bring here. As Eddie Devins fended off by Tedesco, replacing Daniel Hellier, who will probably not return tonight unless there is an injury, I believe. That should be right if my brain's working. As now they go to Crutcher. Goes right. Oh, sorry, goes left. Sorry, Joseph Jackson. The Stoda. That's the Broncos. They look lively now. Cyrus Mark steps one. It's always hard to get past Charlie Butler, though. His cover defense has been nothing short of incredible tonight. It's Jackson Allison. He's going to take on TTM. He had Yosef Jackson on the left, but he didn't use him. They would have been destined to score if they did, as Phoenix, Felix Stoder brought down. Now they go left, it's Raymond, puts a grubber kick in, Eddie Devon's there! And the Brisbane Broncos are back on the board! 18 to 10, through that rookie board, Eddie Devon. Kick yet to come from Levi Raymond, but you'd think that if he's anything like the grubber he just did, he'll get this conversion from straight in front. That is precise as anything, and Eddie Devon knew exactly what the play was. Great stuff from the Broncos, and... They've come out firing. I think Raymond would get this kick here, almost certainly. And he sure does. 18 to 12 is the score. 43 minutes into the game. And it's all off the back of that mistake made by, I don't know who, which Bulldog it was, but the interception. The Broncos. Want to continue this path that they've put themselves on. Edwards goes to Devon. Good run from him there as Kobe Johnson brings him down. Up goes to Hunt, who gives it to Allison, straight to the line, Jackson Allison. Jackson Allison gets the offload of Raymond. Jeez, he has been a machine just in these first four minutes of the second half, Jackson Allison. And he's always dangerous wherever he's on the field. It'd be a shoo-in for an Australia jersey, you'd think, in the upcoming test matches. As Joey Kelly folded there, and now Wallace is away with it. That is not what you need from your captain, just giving the ball up on a big hit. I think it was Kobe Johnston. And uh, well, that's a big disappointment for the Broncos. They were getting on a bit of a roll, but Kobe Kelly just wasting that opportunity. As Moana. And a butler. And they go to Corey Boyd. He steps one. Boyd. Who played the ball. That five minutes out now. That's the fourth tackle. They go right. It's going to go to Tedesco. They need to lock his legs up. Someone needs to lock his legs up. And Jackson does it in the nick of time. Now they go. Moana puts a high kick up. Fifth and last. Who's underneath it? It looks like Columbus come through for TTM. He's going to push for the line to Tierra Maxwell. To Tierra Maxwell's going to score. Referee wants to have a look at this one. But I am certain he's gotten the ball down here under Raymond. And yes, he has. And the green light's there. Here at Belmore Sports Ground.
Ali Butler. Blocks that one, that's a good kick, and 24 to 12 is the score here. by Raymond. Passes to Butler, goes to Johnston. One, release! Hell! Go to the left now. Go to Hodgson. He's held there! Two! Hell! Three! One, it just takes a hit up there. That's the third. They go left now. It's going to be Tedesco. Goes to Hodgson. Broncos, they've got their work cut out for them here. Especially with the props that are on for now. Match that up with score line. They need to come up with something. As they go left, it's going to go Thomas Wallace. No, it's going to be left ahead of someone. Jack Tedesco has the run, and that's going to be the fifth and last, just past the 50. And the handover for the Broncos. That's going to be a bit of a gift. That's going to be a welcome there. Edwards goes to Crutcher. I would hunt now. Two. He's held there. Goes left. Levi Raymond goes to Stoner. Hell. Three. Hell. Now right to Raymond to Edwards. That's several four hands off. He's held there. And the ball now goes left to Joseph Jackson. Fifth and last here, the Broncos, they're going to go out to the left, it's going to be Raymond, puts a good kick in, Eddie Devon again, Eddie Devon scores a double! What a try from Eddie Devon, I didn't see who he absolutely flattened. But we're going to have to start calling this man the steamroller. Look at that, it was Samuel Lillard, that's no mean feat for a rookie. He has clobbered him there, and gets the ball down over the line, Eddie Devon... That is a spectacular try to put your team within another six points. And look who it was with the try assist further. <laughs> who else but Levi Raymond again. They're best mates by the looks of it. Levi Raymond and Eddie Devon. Slots that one. Right over the black dot. And 24 to 18 is the score here. The Broncos still in this fight. 30 minutes left. Anything could happen. All they need is... A change of wind, maybe. Butler hits that one deep. Well, he goes to Allison. That's one. Move. He's held there. Get up. Jackson Allison just playing the ball there. They weren't really ready. Not sure what was going on there with Ash Crutcher. Hell two. Hell. Been a bit dodgy at the hook of this season. and It was a bit of a call. Brisbane Broncos getting rid of Eddie Oliver. Cleaning the house and bringing in Ash Crutcher instead. It was a bit weird. Um, yeah, real, real strange. Jackson Allison now. And the ball, they go right. It's going to be Edwards. Kick all the way down to Vivali and Gawa. He's going to run here to beat Vivali and Gawa. He beats Levi, sorry, Joey Kelly. But Eddie Devon brings him down. And thank goodness he was there because he was about to go for another one, Vivali and Gawa. As they go left now, Hodgson. Straight to the line. He's going to go for a run. Passes out to the winger, but no, Justin plays, intercepts it. He brought it down very close to the sideline, but not quite muscled all the way there. Now, at Devon. That's his second. Oh, 
Raymond. He's held there. Three back with me. Over the ball. Right, right again, right again. Eddie Devon bumps off one, gets the ball right to Simon Hunt. Eddie Devon has been a freak in this little stint that he's done. They go right now, Isaac Edwards. Oh! Big tackle there. Cameron Hodgson, and he'll be brought down just in front of his own 50. Jackson puts the kick down to Vivali and Garwood. They need a good kick chase here. And Marley Arkees spun around, but Isaac Edwards gets to it. Corey Boyd now goes to Tedesco. Now to Johnston. Two on the kick going. He's held there. Move it. Now goes to Wallace. Moana. Tedesco. Three markers lock in. Stop mum if you need. Wallace goes right now to Butler, goes to Maxwell, steps one, he can't get past, I think that's Levi Raymond there. Now Lillard, straight to the line Samuel Lillard, but he's brought down Eddie Devon with another tackle and he's been just great, no one wants him to leave the field as Moana puts a high kick up, who's underneath it, looks like Kelly's ready for it and he is. Joey Kelly just... Drawing balance to his game, he's had a bit of a shocker tonight after that first try. Made some errors, missed some tackles. Got the ball in cr critical moments. Question whether they would be better off finding a new fullback. Broncos. Cleaning house out entirely in season eight. Edwards there with the run. That's a man that can play fullback. Simon Hunt now. Third tackle. Cracks the 50 meter mark. Joseph Jackson goes to Stoda, but it's going to be picked up by Allison. And Ayava wanted another crack at it. Barish Marsh was getting ready to chase him down again. We go left. Felix Stoda goes to Dylan Sharp down the sideline. He'll get them in a good enough position to put an attacking kick in, but it just it all relies upon the kicker. Can Raymond get it close to the line or will he not? No, it's going to be. Actually, Ash Crutcher putting it through. Who's there? Joey Kelly's there. He can't get an offload, though, and he just slowed down too much. And that will be a handover inside the Bulldogs 10. That was almost a danger. The scoreboard for the Bulldogs. They're only a try ahead at the moment. Now they go Hodgson. Wallace goes to Lillard. Now they go for Wally and Gawa. Now they go right. Moana goes to Hodgson. Moana puts a kick all the way down to Justin Plays as they step one here and Justin Plays driven That's back. And left is going to be Simon Hunt. Alright, Kyriakis Ilias goes to Mali Aki, Aki. Driving there. Three back with me. They go left, it's gonna be Edwards. Hell. The 40 now, that's the fourth tackle. They need a big run here. Try and get another play on. Mali Aki getting very close to the sideline. Here's the fifth and last. Joseph Jackson just putting it down to Tierra Maxwell. And there's a good chase there from the Broncos to bring him down. Simon Hunt getting involved. And Moana links up with Lillard. They go left, out to Vivali and Gawa. Hudson plays the ball, they go right now, Moana, gives it to Mayaba. Charlie Butler. 
It's a kick down to Dylan Sharp as he steps one here, and Dylan Sharp will be brought into touch. No, yes, he will well, technically no, but apparently the touch judge has uh, said yes. Balls in the NRL rules, that would not be into touch, but that's okay. As uh, the Bulldogs were going to hand over pretty close. 25 metres away from the try line. Desco with the first hit up there. They need something, Broncos, to just dig deep. They just need some sort of encouragement as Goats pushed back. They go left now. It's going to be Wallace. They go Butler now. And they go, Kamene. Playing the ball, five out, they go right now, Moana. Puts it high. It's going to be a tap back there. It's going to be to TTM to Tierra Maxwell, scores a try. And 28 to 18 is the score here. A great try from the fullback. As I think the Broncos, they won't be able to keep up here. Last 15 minutes, they have to score two tries. Wait to see if both of them need to be converted in a second. I'll back, uh, I'll back Charlie Butler here. Kick from Charlie Butler. 30 to 18 is the score. Raymond. Kick. Down deep here. A minute. Now Maxwell is going straight through the line. He matches Joey Kelly's speed, but Kelly's just pulling up head now. Still can't get to him. He gets a long pass out to Goats. Goats for the line, but no, he can't get past Sharp. He just needed to go for the corner there. But Sharp thought he'd cut in, and as well guessed from him as now they go to Mayava. That's the third tackle there, five out here. The Bulldogs. They go left. Butler gives it away. It's to Tierra Maxwell, but Simon Hunt reads it. They need to hold on here, the Broncos. This is the most important set of the game. As they go right now, it's going to be Moana. Gives it to Lillard. Straightens up and takes the settler there. Felix Stoda helping Kyriakos Ilias there. As fifth and last, they go out. It's going to be Butler putting a kick in for himself, Charlie Butler. And I think he's gotten the ball down here. I think he's missed that. No try, and he's missed the ball, and the Broncos, they hold on, but they've still got a lot of fight to do out of their own end. Cyrus Marks getting them started off with a great run off their line. Now they go left to Raymond, who goes to Stoda. I can't believe Charlie Butler missed that one. He didn't need to go for the dive, he just needed to put it down, but he went for the spectacular. Now Joey Kelly getting involved in the moment that matters the most. Good break, but he lose about 10 metres after the offload. That was not needed. As they go left now, Raymond gives it to Stoda. Marks goes to Raymond, now to Ilias. Ilias for the line, Kyriakos Ilias. As here's the fifth and last. Can they score in this play? It's an important one. The Bulldogs, they don't want to let any points in here. They go to Raymond. It's a high one. It's a shallow one as well. Cyrus Marks can't get up and can't compete with Columbus, and Columbus is brought down. Great take from him. Oh, and a forward pass, and that is drastic on your own line. The Broncos, they're going to get an opportunity here. As Allison. Right, he's one. He's 
As we go, Crutcher goes right. Edwards driven back. They go left, Kyriakos Ilias. As they go right, Raymond goes to Kelly. Now, goes inside ball to Allison, who's almost gets past the final line. This is now or never for the Broncos. This is their chance to try and get back in this game. They're going to go. It's going to go to Crutcher. Hit off the ball. Surely that's a penalty. No, John by Maiava cleans it up. As the Bulldogs, I think they've done enough, enough here to hold the Broncos out of this game. Now Hodgson. to Mo Moana, now to Johnston, brought down, as they go Moana, puts a kick in for Kamene who picks it up, but it'll be a changeover on their 10, the Broncos got 6 minutes to score 2 tries, I don't see it happening, it's just as daily with a run there. Jackson Ellison now. He's held there. That's his second. Go left, Justice Daly. Right through the line, Justice Daly. He goes left to Cyrus Marks. Three, back with me. Now they go right to the Crutcher. Now to Ilias. Driven oh. back. Number 10, Hill. Left to Stoda. Fifth and last here. And I think this will be, yeah, now the Broncos, they are done here. They no chance in anymore as Jackson Ellison puts the kick down. Going to be Tavita Favali and Gawa. He steps one. Tavita Favali and Gawa. Joey Kelly's gone. Favali and Gawa is going to race away and seal the deal for the Canary Bankstown Bulldogs. Another long range try for the rookie winger in 34 to 18. The score will be after his double. Kick to still come. Just under four minutes left on the clock. That is all over for the Brisbane Broncos. And the Bulldogs will slot into first place on the ladder. The Bulldogs. Oh, Butler. Puts that one over 36 to 18. There you go, the Brisbane Broncos unable to scrape in with the win here. Then Charlie Butler goes left to come in. That's one. Move. Hell. Two. And then Moana goes to Lilla. All the way to Daly. Accepts it, but don't get it very far. Raymond, now to Ilias. Look down, they go right now. It's going to go to Raymond. Goes to Joey Kelly. Steps one, Joey Kelly, and a consolation try for the Brisbane Broncos through Joey Kelly and there you go, they'll save the score, but it's not as embarrassing. Still not the best outcome for them. The 
Brisbane Broncos pick this one. 36 to 24. 50 seconds left on the clock. The Bulldogs, surely they just waste as much time as possible here. You almost have to, wouldn't you? We get one or two more plays here to take us into full time. Crutcher. Hit off the ball there. And Raymond collect it though. Last play here is the final siren sounds. Joey Kelly will take us to full time and 36 to 24 is the scoreline. The Bulldogs with yet another win this season. We put him into first place. Pending of course the Melbourne Storm's result against the Knights. 36 to 24. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's some of the school, that's some of the stats. 22 completions from 30 opportunities, 20 from 23. From the Broncos, a lot more conservative with the ball, but had a lot less at the same time. Nine errors compared to five. And 73 compared to 169, and at the same line breaks, about the same missed tackles. Sorry, the line breaks 12 more for the Bulldogs and. This doesn't that show as Charlie Butler scored two for Vali and Gawa scored two and Maxwell scored two. All six tries being converted by Butler. Joey Kelly and Eddie Devon scoring two and Raymond converting all four. So everyone on the field that scored got at least two. They got two. Look at the stats. Tavita Vali and Gawa, 273 metres, seven line breaks, two tries. I don't see him falling out of a starting spot anytime soon. Uh, Thomas Wells, 233 run meters. He's at hook of the whole game. Hero Maxwell, 195 run meters, five line breaks, and two tries. He had a great game. Spectacular stuff from him. Cameron Hodgson, 194 run meters, four line breaks. Another great game. Lillard, 168, four line breaks. Hackle breaks. Another good game from him, but still two errors from both of those last two mentioned. And then it goes all the way down to Casey Namina. I would not be happy if I was him. Two run meters and two runs in 18 minutes. Now, when you got a player such as Namina on your side, why you bench him? You know, the only reason is if you have a forward pack like this Bulldog side and they've just got that many forwards, they don't know what to do with them. Look at some of these Bronco stats. Felix Stoddard, 236 run meters, two line breaks. He had a tremendous game tonight. Really, really good, as did Simon Hunt, 207 run meters. Four line breaks, two tackle breaks. Another good game from him. Joey Kelly, 158 five line breaks and two tries. He played all right, but really he did make, it says he only made one error. He made a couple mistakes that really cost them uh, some key moments. Um, and it showed in the scoreboard, it did. Jackson Allison, 156 run meters, two line breaks, two tackle breaks. He did well as well. But ultimately, it was just the Bulldogs getting those run meters through the middle and then those outside backs uh, really executing when they needed most. I mean, Davida, Vuvali and Gal is really the difference in this game. The Bulldogs. Yeah, that's all we have time for tonight. Thank you very much for joining us on this Tuesday night matchup between the Barry Bankstown Bulldogs and the Brisbane Broncos. I've been your commissioner, Will K. And absolutely exciting to have you here. And make sure you tune in later for more SRL action.